funny because we ask God to change our situation, not knowing he put us in this situation to change us. This is a quote I will always keep with me that a resident from IRF named Don told me. The Indiana Reentry Educational Facility, known as IRF, is the lowest security facility a resident can reside in. It is located at 401 North Randolph Street in Indianapolis, near the IUPUI campus. Going into my freshman year of college, I was told by my SPIO first year seminar instructor named James Eckerty in the summer that we would be visiting the IRF facility throughout our semester to a program called Toastmasters. Toastmasters is a program where people socialize with residents and give speeches to develop as a speaker and friendships. I didn't know what to think about visiting a prison which I thought would be full of criminals and mean correction officers. When I first visited the facility, it was just like I imagined it to be. The gateway to enter the facility was going through the metal detector and through the doors that lock with a big metal to metal pounding. To reach the class where Toastmasters took place, we had to pass through the courtyard where there was a basketball court, a lot of green gas, grass, and a few trees to cool off from the hot sun. There were also residents smiling and staring at you, which made it kind of, kind of awkward. Entering the small room in a building behind a church was very like our classroom environment. Long rectangle tables connected to make two U-shaped lines with steel chairs under them. An intro to uh, criminal justice, or J101, which was taught by Professor Garcia, we learned how society puts residents re-entering our society down and left aside. People look down on them and think they are criminals and will stay criminals. Little do people know how hard it is for residents in a facility to get out and find a job because of their backgrounds and criminal histories. How hard they try to find a job but it is nearly possible to get one and decide to go back to get easy money. Yes, it's not their fault they backtrack after leaving the facility, but it's our country's fault for not helping them out enough. Professor, Professor Garcia's teachings is the, that they seek help and transition to a good life. Our implicit bias plays a major role in how we treat re-entering citizens and the way we always think of them as criminals and murderers. Toastmasters played a huge role in my public speaking class and how I develop as a speaker. The residents in Toastmasters gave me great advice on how to work on, a, on being a better speaker. A resident named Steve-O, whom I got very close to through IRF, told me to think about talking to myself in the mirror. What I need most was confidence and how I developed that was interacting with more people and making new relationships with them. I took the advice they gave me and practiced my public speaking in front of my mirror and doing some breathing exercises as well. Professor Thedwa told me to work on my stance and the way I walk around. The way I took the advice is very well and figured my own plan on pres presenting my further speeches. Toastmasters and IRS pushed me even more to make my way up to the DE after graduating and having a major in criminal justice. The knowledge I got from my J101 class and res residents from my IRF was that drugs play a major role on how people develop men's red to commit the crime. The series of the crime is overtaken by the drug taken in amount as well. One of the residents who was arrested for drug problems told me how hard it was to get the help and need for his treatment addiction. My opinion on the reentry facility and its residents was a major change. I used to think the reentry facility was a place where bars themselves kept the worst of the worst residents from each other. But that wasn't the way in the facility. I believe the reentry facility needs some more methods to help residents, but it's better than the full security lockdown prisons. This experience has helped me out a lot already by calming my implicit bias and way of thinking about residents who re-enter our society from all those long and dreadful years of prison. Knowing that I will have to start as a police officer to get to the spot I want to be in life, I know how to control certain situations some residents face. This experience not only changed me as a student, but as a person as well. I got to experience something that people usually don't experience thanks to the themed learning community of SPIA. The knowledge I got from the Toastmasters and its residents has motivated me to do better for the people inside the gates, to help them get the opportunity they deserve in the unjust society we live in. After talking deeply to some residents, I found out it was one mistake and the first mistake they have done to put them in the place they are today. 
Everybody makes mistakes in crime, but usually don't get caught. And it's not right to put the ones inside the walls down if we don't know their backgrounds or possibilities. After I was told we were going to IRF and after the first visit, my views quickly changed on the way I think about the residents that reside in the facility. They're normal people just like us. They have made a mistake, which I know they won't do it again, but if they do it's because our society makes it very difficult for them to develop as an employer and citizen. I will always remember walking through the metal detector and steel doors to a place where there isn't judgment but friendly conversations. It will be hard not seeing them again, but I just hope them a positive future.